Hey, YouTube, have you ever used a level and wondered, is this level even accurate? Maybe it's got two vials on it, and one saying one thing and the other saying the other, and you're wondering which one is good. Or maybe you're going to buy a second-hand one or even a new one at a store, and you wonder, is this thing set up right? I'm going to show you how to check it. Okay, now I've had, a, I've had a number of levels over the years, different makes, different models, you know, basically uh, I don't really have a preference. I do kind of like the, the ones that have a, a aluminum bi uh, bound on the edge solid rather than the brass. I don't put particularly like the brass. That gets dented. And then when you try to do precise markings with these as a straight edge, I have a problem with them. If you're going to do masonry work, you might want to get a magnesium one. Uh, the I, I think masons prefer that or the brass like this because it doesn't stick to the mortar so much. Uh, but you can see over the years these get worn and sometimes the vials go bad. One thing you typically will see out on the job if you work with other carpenters sometimes, I don't know if you can see that, is you'll see a vials marked out with a magic marker or something, a piece of tape or something over it. It means that that vial is no good. It can't be trusted. And we see that, you know, once in a while. So I'm going to show you how to check your level so that you can see if it's good. Basically, we have two checks, the plumb and the level. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to place this on a fairly level surface. It doesn't have to be exactly level. That's not the point. So we, we place it on a countertop or a workbench or something that's fairly level. And we look and we see what we got. Now what we want to look for is we want to look and see exactly where that bubble is at in that vial. How close to the lines it is, if it's right in the center, if it's touching a black line one side. Take note of that and then we're going to rotate the level around and we're going to set it back down and we're going to see if it goes to the same place. Now if you're not on a level surface, every time you move the level you're going to get a different reading obviously. That's why you want to be on a flat surface. Uh, so let's go ahead and rotate it. And I can see, I don't know if you can see that because of the way the design of this, but I can see it's right exactly back where it was. Now, if it doesn't come back there, try it again. Maybe you're on a high spot or something. But if you're on a flat surface and you do that several times, you keep getting a different reading, then you know that that, uh, that vial's not good. It's not accurate. Because what changed? Nothing changed. So that vial is no good. You can cross it out. Now, sometimes there's two vials for a, you know for each setting so and one might be good the top one and the bottom one might be bad you just have to put a, uh, a marker through it like I showed you on the other ones and work with the good one so let's go ahead and do the plumb setting now all right now we're going to check the uh, plumb so what we're going to do is we're going to find a plumb surface perhaps a door jam or the corner of a, the outside corner of a room up against a corner beat has got to be a consistent place so that you're getting the same reading every time you uh, rotate the level. So we're going to hold it up here, and we're going to look at that vial, and we're going to see exactly where those bubbles are hitting right between that black lines. Okay? And then we're going to rotate it again and see if it goes back to the same place. If it keeps doing that, when you do it a few times, then you know that that vial's good. Flip it over, check the other one. So that's basically how you check the uh, the vials on a level. You know, at one time years ago, uh, we used to drop these levels off at the lumber yard, and they would send them out and get the vials uh, reset, replaced. You know, seems now everything is so cheap. All these imported items that uh, it's cheaper to actually buy a level than it would be to have uh, one or two vials replaced, and that's kind of a pity that we've turned into a throwaway society. 
But I'll leave you with that thought, and I'll see you on the next video.